Hi friends, it's Valerie. Welcome back to this week's What's for Dinner. If you're new here, welcome. I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Today I have three inspirational meals for you again and I hope that you enjoy them as much as we did. Quickly, I just wanted to say one of these meals was my top favorite of the week. Definitely going in my list of favorite meals to make again and it is sloppy joe fries and let me just say i'm not the biggest fan of sloppy joes in general and like manwich things like that it's just not really my thing but i decided to give this a try and it's using ground beef and like seasonings to make it like a sloppy joe style and it was amazing and i don't remember if i showed it in the video because i was already eating it and i decided to put ranch on top and that really took it over the top. Also had this for leftovers the next day and I put it over tater tots that time. And that was really, really good as well. So I definitely think you should give that a shot um, if you think it's something that you would enjoy. So let's just get started. This first recipe is a sweet chili salmon in Asian style green beans. I'm starting off with about a pound of green beans that I cleaned and trimmed and I'm gonna go ahead and add about a tablespoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of brown sugar, about a quarter teaspoon of ginger, so maybe a tablespoon of soy sauce, some chili flakes, and as much garlic as you'd prefer. Mine was maybe about four cloves worth. Then just some salt and I'm using white pepper. And I'm just going to go ahead and toss those green beans with all the seasonings just to get them coated. If you have a smaller air fryer, you can do this in batches. You're going to air fry them at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Next, I'm taking a few salmon fillets and I'm just patting those dry with some paper towels. I just want to remove all that excess moisture, especially because mine were frozen prior. And I am just quickly spraying my air fryer like pan and I'm going to place the salmon in there. We're just taking some of this Thai sweet chili sauce. Um, this is the point where you can pretty much use however much you want. I'm just putting some on top, spreading it across with my spoon. Nothing fancy. This is going to give it a nice light sweet chili flavor without being too much. It's it, But it's enough nice flavor. I found that it really complemented the salmon very well, especially because of those green beans. Like the green beans are packed with a lot more flavor, so it, it was a really good balance. So I have a larger style air fryer, so I'm going to be placing my green beans and salmon together on this tray. Um, if you have a smaller air fryer, like I've said, you can just do this in batches, your green beans at once and then your salmon. And again, you're just air frying this at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. You guys are probably tired of hearing me say how much we love salmon here, but we really do, and we really enjoyed this meal. It was a very tasty salmon, um, but nice and light when complemented with those really good green beans. Definitely loved how good those green beans were paired with salmon. I love that Asian style inspired meal, and I served this with some white rice and put some sesame seeds and soy sauce on my rice. So good. This next meal is sloppy joe fries. To start off, I'm just going to go ahead and prep the vegetables. You're going to need one green bell pepper and one half of an onion, and you're just going to want to go ahead and dice those up. Now I'm just taking my large skillet, and I'm going to go ahead and cook up one pound of ground beef, and I'm just using my meat chopping tool like normal. I love this thing. Um, if you haven't gotten one you should definitely look into that even the cheaper versions they are great and I'm gonna go ahead and season this meat with some salt and pepper and some garlic powder now that that's all cooked up I'm gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon to two tablespoons of minced garlic and then those diced up onions and bell peppers and I'm just gonna go ahead and stir those around and let those start to uh, get softened up To this meat mixture, I'm going to add in some Worcestershire sauce, maybe about a tablespoon. It was just the last of my bottle added in there. Um, two tablespoons of tomato paste. I freeze mine, so that's just me breaking it up. A tablespoon of mustard, a quarter cup of soy sauce. I added half at first, but I ended up using the whole quarter cup. And then a half a teaspoon of chili powder and a quarter teaspoon of red uh, chili powder flakes and I'm just mixing that all up and getting all that meat coated this is basically making like a flavorful sauce for the meat which makes like that sloppy joe um, kind of flavor and I'm not the biggest fan of like sloppy joe packets or uh, manwich but this was really good and then I'm taking these fries I love the red robin fries and I'm just gonna place those on my air fryer basket 
or tray and I'm gonna air fry those at 400 degrees um, I put 16 minutes on there but I just kind of watched them until they were golden and crispy and of course you could just bake those in the oven uh, for the package directions and then on top of that once they were cooked I added up that cooked up meat mixture on top and then I'm topping that with some Monterey Jack cheese this is just for your preference whatever amount of cheese you want you could even use like a pepper jack um, and then I'm gonna just stick that in my air fryer for a couple minutes and let that cheese melt uh, you could also if you're using the oven just put this back in the oven or even put it on broil and I topped that after it came out with some fresh green onions this was amazing we loved this meal so much and like I said we're not sloppy joe fans but this was so so good and I took a clip once I was already eating it because uh I had actually covered it with some ranch while I was eating it and let me tell you that ranch really just threw it over the top um, we're definitely adding this to our list of absolute favorites so good you should really give this one a try this last meal is some chicken and cheesy Monterey rice so I'm actually closely following a recipe that is on the back of this nor rice sides and it's the chicken flavor so I'm just making that according to the package directions which was to boil the water at the margarine um, add in your rice and just uh, stir it all together and to let that come to a boil then you reduce your heat to low and let that simmer for seven minutes with the lid on and while that was cooking I just went ahead and started my chicken um, I brought my skillet to a medium medium high heat and I'm just placing some oil in there and two chicken breasts I'm seasoning it with some salt pepper a little bit of taco seasoning and just a little bit you don't want it to be too strong of that flavor and then some onion powder garlic powder cumin and paprika and these are all just uh, seasonings of choice I just went with something that was gonna give that more like um, Mexican style flavoring and I cooked it about four or five minutes on one side flipped it and cooked it another four or five minutes on the other side that rice is done I stirred it I'm adding in a can of uh, rinsed and drained black beans a can of drained corn and one can of diced green chilies that are undrained and I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that all together and I let that heat up a bit then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some Monterey Jack cheese I believe it calls for about a cup's worth and in the original recipe they put it on the chicken I decided to mix it into the rice I just thought that sounded better and it actually worked out that rice was super super good I really liked that rice a lot with the beans and the corn and the chicken on the side this was a quick and delicious meal thanks so much for watching friends don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on any future what's for dinner videos and I hope you all are having an amazing week